it's me at youdiphonecaptain.com. Today I'm going to be sharing five or six different ways to improve the speed of your phone. One of them is pretty awesome. You're going to stick around and watch the whole video. The first one I'm going to share with you is you need to turn off the uh, parallax and contrast inside the settings app. Go into settings, open up general, uh, no I'm sorry, accessibility. Go to settings and scroll down to where it says general, yes, I'm sorry, general accessibility. And go down toward the bottom and you'll see reduce motion right here. You need to make sure that you have the, both of those toggles on. Now that's going to help reduce uh, and keep your phone from trying to make adjustments to your springboard or whatever if you move your phone. And also, there's one here that you can increase uh, contrast right here. Make sure that's turned on. That's going to make your uh, control center not appear to be transparent when you flip it up. There you see it. Now, mine looks like it's uh, it's not see-through. And that's going to save you a lot of speed. And your phone's not going to have to be calculating that all the time. If you notice while we're going through this video how much faster my phone is, moving from just swipes, even pulling up the, the uh, control center, opening settings, see how much faster it is. Uh, another one you can do is you can turn off automatic downloads and you can do that by going into settings and going into the iTunes store uh, and app store. Scroll right here in the middle where it says automatic downloads make sure you have those turned off uh, you, you you even need to automatically updates that should be turned off as well that way and all these should be turned off that would save you speed I've actually turned mine back on but I had just something I was looking to get downloaded but anyway you can do that to help increase your speed and if you're having problems in like Safari if it's moving slow you can go into Safari and clear the cache in Safari and a lot of people uh, you know don't know that they can do that but it's very easy to do you just open up settings go into Safari and right here where it says clear history and website data tap that and it will clear your website data if you have any kind of uh, important data you might not want to do that though if you have saved something in Safari because it will clear all of anything you've entered you know last but not least here's the sort of the hack I was telling you about now this may take a little time for you to get it to work but it does work on everything I think down to about iOS 5 or 6 I heard them say and I just learned about this myself so uh, what you have to do is you have to open up settings go into settings and go into general assistive to uh, uh, accessibility and scroll down to where you see it say uh, assistive touch right here under interaction tap assistive touch and turn that on and that what that will do is make this little thing here come on now once we get the phone to work properly like I show you you can come back in and turn this off and it won't have an effect I just left it on to show you what you have to do is you have to pull this down in the corner doesn't matter which side left or right then you pull your spotlight down once your spotlights down you see that moves up that makes this assist assistive touch move up to the top of the keyboard every time now the faster that moves the faster your phone is going to be performing so what you need to do is it may take you 50 times to do this. Pull this down, tap that. Pull this down, tap that. So what you do, let's pull this down in the corner. Pull the spotlight down. Tap the screen in the middle there where there's nothing that's going to open up, of course. Then pull this back down. Hit the home button. Okay, you can do all that until you get this working. So here we go. We'll do it again. All right, starting fresh. I pull my assistive touch back down in the corner. Pull the spotlight down, tap the screen, and then push the home button to, to, to get it closed back up. Then pull it back down, pull the assistive touch back down. 
open the spotlight, touch the screen, pull the assistive touch down, hit home button, tap, tap. It's just hard to explain it and do it and all that at the same time. But what you're doing is you're trying to get your phone's animations to speed up. Once you feel like it's working, then you can turn it back off, go back into settings, turn assistive touch off. Now when you open up your apps, they should things should be working faster. And I can assure you that my Twitter, now the load time's not gonna increase, but your your uh, opening the apps should open up quicker. And I can done tell a difference in mine. Try it guys, let me know what you think. Do you think it works? Is it bullshit? Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, share this, and keep coming back.